and welcome to the Cinema 4D Quick Tips. Let's say I want to render this viewport with all of the settings I made. Like for example, if I go to the options menu, you can see I activated shadows, transparency, reflections, screen space, ambient occlusion. But there's also one more setting that was set up before and you can find that in the edit preferences menu under viewport hardware, which is anti-aliasing, which is set to two. Now I want to render the viewport with all of these settings. So let's go to the render settings and the viewport renderer is already activated. And here you can see that it's just the defaults. So shadow is not checked, screen space ambient occlusion is not checked and so on. But since Cinema 4D S22, we've got this nice little button here, copy effects from viewport. And once I click it, you can see that all of the settings that I showed you before, including the anti-aliasing, have been copied to the viewport render settings. And if I hit render now, you can see that it rendered using the very same effects that I used for the viewport. Thanks for watching! If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment and subscribe!